gonna need an apron for this one. These are canned pickled chicken of the woods mushrooms that I've had in my pantry for about a year and a half. Just saving them, waiting for the right inspiration. And I've had that inspiration. Last week, my friend JB with Foraged Market posted a recipe on their YouTube page for fried pickled hen of the woods. I'm gonna do it with these. Let's get wild. The first step is to crack these open and see what they taste like so we know what we're working with. Got a little piece here. Try that. About what I expected, nice and vinegary. Chicken texture, of course, if you've ever had chicken in the woods mushrooms, you would know it's very similar to chicken. Pretty vinegary, so I'll keep that in mind as I create this dish. Let's get started. I'm gonna save this pickling liquid for something. I'm gonna let these dry on some paper towels. Just get a little bit of that moisture off so the breading sticks well for them. These are nice and drained. Now we're gonna make some seasoned flour and do a flour, egg, flour breading. I'm gonna season the flour with a good pinch of salt, some fresh cracked pepper, some foraged ground bee balm, which is a mint that sort of has a uh, citrusy, oregano, minty flavor. It's really good. And some garlic powder. Give that a nice shake up. Whoop. <laughs> and we'll just put all of the mushroom pieces into the flour to get them nicely coated. Give these a nice shake in the flour. We're gonna go right into an egg wash. Got a couple eggs from our chickens. And I'm going to put some of the pickling liquid in with the eggs. Just a splash. Give those a good whisk. Then we'll put the floured mushrooms into the egg wash. You can see those have just a light coating of flour on them. That's gonna help the egg and second round of flour stick well. I'm gonna have to do these in two batches. Let's get a nice coating of egg wash on all of the pieces. From the egg wash, we're gonna go right back into the seasoned flour. Give them a little mix around as we go to get things coated. After their second coating, I'm gonna put them on a wire rack just to sort of settle. We've got all of that chicken to the woods breaded. I'm just gonna let it sit on this tray for a few minutes to sort of dry out and settle in a little bit. And while that happens, we're gonna heat up some oil on the stove and I'm gonna make a dipping sauce. So because we already have some sharp vinegary flavors from the pickling liquid and we'll have some fat and crunchy, I thought we could use some umami and more deep flavors. And so I'm gonna make a mayo with gochujang. I've never done this before, I'm just sort of winging it, but I think it would be a good pairing. I'm gonna be using J. Kenji Lopez Alt's method of making homemade mayo. Uh, I'm just going off of memory because it's pretty simple and I think we can get it figured out. Another egg from our chickens. A little dollop of Dijon mustard. Pinch of salt. And a dollop of gochujang. Now, about a cup of oil. Any neutral oil will work. I'm using a mixture of avocado and vegetable because that's what we have. And then we'll just hit this with an emerging blender starting at the bottom and slowly raising up. That's all there is to it. Pretty easy. Mmm. It's got just the right amount of umami and spice from the gochujang, but it's not too overpowering. I think it'll be perfect. It does need a little more salt though. Oops. I'm gonna put this in the fridge until the mushrooms are done frying. Let it cool down a little bit. Time to fry our mushrooms. 
Our oil is right around 325 to 350. I'm going to drop a little test piece in. Looks pretty good. These are just going to fry for maybe three to five minutes. See how the, the breading gets colored up. They're already cooked through the pickling process, so we just need to get the breading nice and crispy. I think these will be easier to use. These are nicely golden brown. Get them onto a tray to drain and fry off the rest. Get these with a little salt too. All fried up. Let's plate them up, see how they turned out. They turned out amazing looking at least. Do one of these. Nice and crispy. Let's give them a try. Garnished with a little bit of chives from our garden. The year and a half was definitely worth the wait. They're like a mix between a chicken nugget, a fried pickle, and a fried mushroom. It's amazing. They've got a nice crispy outer layer and then a mild sort of chickeny texture. And then it finishes with like a sharp pickly vinegar flavor. Really, really good. Uh, you probably don't have to wait a year and a half to make them. Just pickle some mushrooms and fry them um, like JB did in his video. I'll link that down below if you want to check that out too. Until next time, thanks for watching.